Hello everyone, and welcome back for our next episode of Soma. We finally, finally made it through Theta. My goodness, that place was just a complete terror trap from top to bottom. We did have one moment though in between there where we had almost like a, a flashback or we were back into some kind of world where we were seeing Ashley and she was back alive. Obviously there's gonna be some more of that. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some more flashbacks that start popping up as we continue to move forward. But we are now back on the seafloor and we're gonna start marching forward. Hopefully we're gonna have a little bit of a break here where it's not gonna be too intense and maybe we can get a little more story in a more peaceful environment. If this is your first time finding the channel, welcome, hope you have an awesome time. And if you do have a great time, sure would mean a lot to me if you consider hitting that subscribe button. Without any further delay, let's get back into Soma. I really love the little loading screen things that it shows you each time you log back into the game. It's super helpful and it's amazing how like accurate it is with where you are in the story. No matter where you like stopped and saved, it's very helpful. So we are on our way to Omni, Omnicron, Omicron, something to that effect. And we're in the process of trying to find a power suit, which might be kind of what this person had. I don't know. Uh, but we're trying to get a power suit so that we can withstand the abyss, which is what we're going to be trying to get into. Oh, this kind of scares me. What happens if we go back up here and try to look inside the tunnel? I mean, I, I'm very scared to even do it in case something were to happen one of those creatures comes out because I backtracked instead of going forward I would hate that check it out like you see the tube going off into the ground I think you could hear one it almost sounded like something came out of the tunnel I'm telling you if one of those things came out I'm gonna be so mad Wow, look at the view we got, though. Okay. We're going forward. I don't want to find any way to get back into Theta anyways. I am done with that place. <laughs> Never want to think of that place again. Top level was pretty cool. Second, third levels down. Not at all. I think I, I wouldn't mind it if it wasn't so long. It just It was just too long for me. It was, it was wearing on. Now, granted, I was moving slow, but it, I felt like it was kind of requiring that of me, which probably didn't help. Oh, it just did the little save icon. What are those? All right, let's find Omicron. 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 I thought I was going off the beaten path there a little bit, but apparently. Oh, and that spot where I got stuck on the computer desk trying to escape. That was terrible. I was gonna get on the desk and go hide in that back corner and hope he couldn't reach me. But that stupid monitor got me stuck. Oh well. Lesson learned. Don't flash your lights at things. And don't try to hide on desks. It don't work. Ooh. I took a short little break, about 15 minutes between stopping that last episode and picking this one up, you know. Took a little breather, got a little something to drink. Are these like mines? They kind of remind me of like, like, no, they're hollow. What are those cages used for? They're way down. Let's go get a closer look at one of these. It doesn't look like there's anything in them. It's like some giant buoy. Some kind of a screen on those ones. Is there one on this one too? There is. Power failure. I'm going to assume that's what it says on all these. Looks like it's got the same message going across there. Oh, what's this? Are you a little helper bot? Oh. Uh. <laughs> the physics are impressive. That looks like some underwater satellite. Like, um, not satellite, a telescope. Whoa. I don't know what that is or what it's used for. It's pretty cool, though. 
All right. So what I'm kind of confused by, though, and I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments, those things that we were coming across, was one of those acres, or was acres the one that was like all falling apart? That one table where we found where it looked like it something completely dissolved, is that where acres was or died? I was a little confused. I, I kept thinking we were going to come across actual acres, but I don't know if what we were encountering there were uh, like spawns from him. I don't know. Oh, we got a body here. Somebody else that didn't make it. He just took his helmet right off. I'm fucking open! And nobody's answering to anything! What kind of cold-hearted motherfuckers would just leave us out here to die? Don't you get it? They're dead. They're all dead. Yeah. You're right. How can you be so calm about this shit? We are dying! How much air have you guys got? 20 minutes. Tops. Hey, I'm in red! Seconds away before the CO2 gets me. Oh no! Dusky. Why wait, right? I'm the master of my own fate! Wait, stress, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay, move on. We know he drowned. You know, it sucks too, because he was the one that everyone said was just always so happy, so positive. So is this the thing that he said was locked? Wouldn't open? Let's go take a gander for ourselves, shall we? Okay, well now we know there's only two of them. Al Alvera? Alvero? Something like that? And... Fabu... Fabi... Something to that effect. Okay, there's a pressure pump. Power failure. Manual override. So that's the thing that probably wouldn't open. How is this a manual override? Okay, I bet there's a little bit of a puzzle to this here. Pressure pump. Okay, can't move that. Can we turn these? Nope. Nope, okay. So I think we need to go figure out how to get the power back. Oh! Uh, okay. I was going to say, maybe we, I think we need to go get the power on first and get everything powered up because, you know, everything over there was same power offline as well. Okay, let's keep exploring. We'll come back to you. Uh, I'm sure, but let's follow these cables. Wow. Look at all of it. Oh, here's another one. You all died. The world is dead, Richard. Oh. Even if we got inside Omicron, what's left? Grab a couple suits and head for Tau? Strasky, Jonesy, Hart. Everyone is dead, and we are right behind them. We're probably the last people left alive. The last moments of mankind. Mm. <laughs> no oxygen left. Better sit down. I don't want to fall into the abyss. There are worse ways to die. Probably. Did he jump into the abyss? Why do they call you Emma? Huh? Oh, it's for Emma. Emma Alvaro. Uh, I like that. It's a good name. We should have hung out more. I think we would have made good friends. Thanks. I would have liked that. Hmm. Goodbye, Emma. Bye. Oh, you hear him walking off. <laughs> I wonder if he did jump into the abyss. If so, we might find one more body. That must be the abyss. You know, that's got to weigh on you so much more, too, to realize, like, 
the whole surface has been wiped out. So, like, who's down here is who's last. Who's left? The last that are left. And the fact that they know that when they're gone, like, mankind is gone. That's got to affect him in a whole other kind of way. Okay, we got another one of these little robot things. It, it's like it's dead, though. It's not powered in any way. I wonder if I get the power turned back on, if those things will come floating back to life, too. Okay, I see a tunnel right here. I hope this is not coming from from Theta. Connecting to the next place I gotta go. There's more of these things over here. This is Omicron. We're gonna have issues. Hope they save me a diving suit. Oh, we got one more here. Is this... Did he just walk off over here? Hey! Come on! Open up! What is this shit? Armor for the apocalypse? Omicron is in quarantine. This is why they didn't answer our call. Hello! Christ, Strasky. It's called a radio. They're not gonna hear you better if you scream. Jonesy, are you okay? Look, I know you're the strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're Jonesy. all right. Jonesy. Jonesy? Jones. Fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break it. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Well, get in line! Uh... Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. Stasis switch? What's the stasis switch? Okay, well, they definitely got the whole quarantine sign all over everything here, don't they? I'm assuming a little power thing's not gonna work here. No. Okay. So let's try the annex. So I'm gonna we're gonna follow along this way over here. It almost looked like there was a bridge of sorts going out this way. My guess is though I don't wanna fall off or I fall into the abyss and get crushed. Where am I going? This isn't safe. Oh, Okay, I'll take that hint. <laughs> that apparently is not the right way to go. Okay, let's follow this tunnel back. Maybe this is what they're referring to. Whoo, I got a feeling I got really close to just dying right there. Is there an access point on this tunnel? They got all these lights up here. Kind of makes me think I'm supposed to do something with them. Unless he was saying, when he was talking about going back, maybe he was referring to that thing I was just at. Must be something I gotta do with power, though. Boink. Okay, Let's see if there's anything I need to do with these. Can I wave my little... Nope, none of those. Oh, this one looks like it might be different. Oh, it's got one of those. Now, if I hit this, will that be a... Because sometimes they do things like deactivate power or whatever. Let's let's see what happens. Maybe it's like a first step. I hate to waste that if that was something that could have, like, healed me. Did it change anything? It doesn't look like it changed anything. Check a few more of these. Nope, just some more dead bots everywhere. Okay. I didn't see a sign on this thing to see what it was called. What's this big old cable going out this way? Hmm. Alright, let's go back up. Maybe I maybe I missed something. Still not quite sure. Oh, manual auto Oh! I thought those were gonna be like handles I had to hang on to. Like if this thing started draining or something. Okay, before flushing, make sure to open valves and turn on pump. 
Okay, okay. I see what we're doing here. Yeah, let's turn these. Alright, turned on. Okay, I got both those open. Pressurize the pump. Okay. Uh, does it say flush? Oh, yes. Progress. <laughs> oh. I'm still glad we went over there, though. Because we got to hear about the, uh, the dialogue and stuff, what happened. Oh, it opened. Okay, what happens if I do this now? Nope, nothing. Okay. Maybe we come back down. Is it friendly up here? Uh... Somewhat friendly. Something just laying on the outside of this thing? Random spot for a couple of... couple of lockers. No, not that yet. Let's see what happened with this guy. Just I'm static. Not getting anything? I can't read him like the others. He looks like a normal per. Well, he looks like he used to be a normal person. Okay, nothing on the back of that. I wonder if I've injected myself with too much of the the wow. It's messed me up in some fashion. No, no. Okay, nothing but a bunch of paper. Okay, let's plug Catherine in. Let's bring her up to speed on all the crazy stuff we've done. Catherine? What? Huh, there you are. Where are we? We're right next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get into Omicron. The big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's it? You got nothing? What? Good luck. Thanks. That's it! Kath, how are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. Not being human. That's not so bad. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. You're making me feel really self-conscious. <laughs> Come on, be serious. I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. Mm. This isn't much worse. Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. Would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body, but you're doing a good job. <laughs> Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Hmm. Okay, I saw this thing slid up over here. Kath, why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think we could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. It's restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. Hmm. Okay. This Catherine, is interesting. Are we alive? <laughs> That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. Just figured there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different. But the world sure does. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. 
And not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. Hmm. In Toronto, I know who I am. That's an interesting observation. Are we done conversating now? I didn't want to interrupt them. Look at all the noise I can make. It's no big deal now. Oh, it's wonderful. My goodness. Oh, look at this. We're going to have to... We got to like... It's one of those things where you're flipping switches to try to connect the circuit, aren't we? Okay. Let's see here. Goes down. Where are we trying to get to, though? They're not really labeled all that well, are they? Maybe this big thing down here? Uh. Yup. I wonder if the bars disappearing means we've only got that many fl switches we can flip. I'm just not exactly sure what our destination is. Or is the goal to get everything turned on? Uh. Ooh, another spark. Oh. Oh, the terminal just lit up. <laughs> Look at that. I was like, where were we trying to go? I was just gonna follow up along the outside of that. That worked out pretty good. Okay, we can get ourselves some answers, huh? Radio buffer. Only one message. Okay, here we go. Over. Do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. E. Can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of. So I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. Oh. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom at Theta. Ah. Uh, so, what did Herb have to go off and go do, huh? Hmm. Is this showing me that we can open the door now because there's a light over there? It says quarantined. There has to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look oh. around the room. Oh, so I'm looking for like a code or something. Okay, okay. I kind of see what's going on now. Uh, can I clean this? Are you hearing that glitched noise? Yeah, what is that? Something trying to talk to us through this? I'm scared. I'm scared to touch it. I am getting chills. Did you do that, Catherine? What? Never mind. I think I solved it. <laughs> solved what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lured into the back of a van? What are you talking about? My goodness. Yeah. Oh, my. There's a lot here. Okay. We'll come back. Uh, no, actually, we better do this now because it, it might. Who knows? Black box status. Everybody's offline. Nobody made it. That sucks. Okay. System updates. Okay. This is a. Uh, wow. 2098. Update enabled black box. Fail safe. User wall checks. Standard area calibrator for ACR. 299. Okay, four years later. Diagnostic tool for post impact contingency plan. Oh my goodness. Wow, 77. Okay. 
Stuff needed to make the crane work again. All up to Allen now. Unnecessary security update for the paranoid lab rats. Dead people don't bite. Uh, actually, yeah, I, I think I think they do. We we've, we've experienced it firsthand now. Okay. Four one one one. Omnicor quarantine lifted. So nice of them. Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. <laughs> She's just so okay with it. You know, it's interesting. Somebody left me a comment on one of the videos saying that uh, that Catherine actually was a bit of a psychopath. Uh, not meaning that she's like just some crazy person, but meaning that she struggles with emotions. She doesn't share them well. She doesn't understand them well. That's why when we're talking with her and she has us do something like, you know, steal a chip from a robot or something, she doesn't, she doesn't get emotional about it because she just doesn't really understand emotions very much. Now, I don't know if that will change as we progress and we find out something more about Catherine that's like, oh my gosh, that's why. But as of right now, it's like, that makes a lot of sense. See, she struggles with that, and that's why she just seems so cold-hearted at times. All right. So the power is on here. What happens if I swipe this now? Oh, that's how I... Ah, okay. Whew. All right. Yo, check it out. You see it coming up through the, the floor like that. That is so awesome. Now, the real th question is, is there something out here now? Because remember, we heard something like crash into the top of this thing when we first got in there. Nothing be behind me. Nothing be behind me. Okay, nothing's behind me. Yeah, this dude's all lit up now. Okay. Just checking, make sure he's not going to turn around and grab me all of a sudden. Yo, look, they are up and about now. I wondered if they'd be up and about once we got the power turned on. So can we go do something with these now? I'm going to go to one screen. Let's see if it says anything different now. Species, Atlantic herring, herring. Population zero? These things used to be full of species? Uh, okay, not that, nothing on that one. Uh, okay, where's your screen at? Hmm. Militia Africana. I mean, these aren't the kind of cages that look like they would be able to actually house, like, living species. Every one of these things are saying... Rudderfish. I don't know. Okay. Well, judging by the fact we saw nothing in any of those cages, I guarantee they were all gonna say zero population. All right, let's uh, let's just go walking right in, cause you know everything's gonna be just fine here, right? I just hope it's not some big hideous creature thing that's gonna make me have to like crouch in corners, and not move for minutes at a time. That's what I'm hoping. Flushing. No turning back now. Offline, use alternate entrance. What alternate entrance? I don't see no alternate entrance in here. What do we got here? Oh! I'm going to a bet. Alternate entrance. Shuttle tunnel. Okay, that's the tube that we saw. Annex. Okay, that's where we were at. Power lines. 
entrance. So it looks like I'm going to try to parkour my, my way around. Or are we supposed to try to use that shuttle tunnel? No, the shuttles are down. We can't use those. So I must have to try to work my way around. Where I was trying to go originally. He's like, this is dangerous. I was like, yep, yeah, man, check out the size of these cables that were like disconnected. Those are huge. Oh, we are making progress. And so far there's no monsters. And it makes me happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm singing because I'm really scared. Very anxious. Okay. Uh. It looked like over there's so where we're going to try to get to, so. <laughs> She's like, you're doing a great job. I'm like, thanks. How do you know? You haven't seen half the stuff I've had to do. Climb. No, don't fall. Climb. Why am I getting staticky? Up on top. There we go. Oh, crap. It's falling. It's falling apart. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh. What's coming up? Whoa, I'm getting like... My character's like getting dizzy. It's like zooming in and stuff. Oh, I can climb. <laughs> That's probably safer than just jumping down there. Gosh, my ladders break on me all the time. I half expected that to not even hold me. Okay. There's some weird staticky thing that was occurring there for a minute. Made me think something was maybe going to come up out of the abyss there for a second. Okay. What's going to be on the other side of this door? Let's just go ahead and find out. Let's find that suit and get out. Should have known. Dead bodies. Just lying there. Looks like they're all missing their heads. Why has it got to be the head? Is that where the little black box chip is and something was sucking the information out of them? Is there a light switch by any chance? No. No light switch. I'll come to you guys here in a minute. Okay. We saw a little save icon there for a second. I'm not sure if that meant something was about to happen. Yeah. I don't know, maybe we can't read people whose heads have been removed. That might be what we're learning here. Was something making those little black box things explode? Is that what was happening? Okay, it's not giving the option to put that on. It's not yet. Okay, we got two doors. That one says containment Facebook. I don't know, FB, whatever that stands for. Let's check this one first. Okay. Now let's try this one. Yo, WoW's definitely involved here. Global lockdown active. Override at dive room console. Oh my gosh, that stuff is oozing out everywhere. What? 
cargo item. Ooh, almost looked like it might open. Nope, guess not. Look at that! Wow is dripping from everywhere. Oh, I don't want to be in here with WoW. I don't know. At the same time, WoW's the one that keeps restoring my health, so I'm still conflicted. Good guy or bad guy? Don't really know. Can we trust Catherine? Oh, I don't know. Okay, robot repair bay, dispatch, containment, and dive room. <laughs> repair, robot repair bay. We haven't seen that since, like... The first room is what I was going to say. Oh. You know, I'd love it if we could find an actual, like, living person who is in great shape, can just talk with us. That would be wonderful. Hmm. Okay. It's not like a squeaky door opening. Magnetic door. Oh, it looks like some kind of surgical room or something. High security area. Oh, that's got that sound that I was hearing at, that, at the place next to the Dunbat. That must have been like one of those vents. Oh, dude, what happened to you? What's going on over here? The thing alive by some chance? Can I meld with you? Oh, I know I heard something like right there. Screw you. <laughs> I'm going in here. <laughs> oh! I need to stop it. Who was that? I didn't even see anything. Okay. I'd like to stop. You know, just go back like everything's everything's good. Oh, there's the dive room. That's where we're trying to get to, right? Oh, this is so terrifying. I've got a feeling it's going to do that again here in a minute. <sighs> got to shake off the chills. Get ready for the next one. It's going to tell, tell me something else I'm supposed to do or not do. Mm. Hello? I miss the light switches we could turn on when we came into rooms like this. I do. Thought I could. I, I swore I heard something breathing. Oh, I can't open this. Okay, I guess not. Oh, I thought sure I did. This little area is like super scary. I don't like this one bit. It's like it's a. Uh, it's like it's some psych ward or something. <laughs> oh, okay. Me, my teeny tiny little flashlight and doing nothing. Uh. Prescription medicine. Keep out of reach of small children. Don't think that's gonna be a problem here. Is it just me or does it feel like my flashlight's doing like less? There it goes. This thing have a charge on it now all of a sudden? It's like it's fading out on me. Maybe it's just me. Water? I don't think we've been anywhere we could actually use water since we started. Can I open this from the inside? Nope. Okay. That's a long haul. 
ain't gonna be good. Not gonna be good. Wow, we actually got to walk all the way down that hall. Didn't expect that. Okay. Saint. Saint. Oh crap. Something just trapped me in here. Find me a little corner. See, look, look how dull my flashlight looks. I'm gonna shut it off. It does fade. Was it, has it always done that? Can't open any of those. I feel like I'm hearing whispers. Uh, power suit, power usage. We already read that at the other place. Uh, oh, that's kind of a cool photo. Ian. Okay, some different names there. Okay, what do we got here? Power suits tested and ready. Jasper confirms. Omicron scans are in the arc. Catherine confirms. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Iviskin confirms. Climber calibrated for weight. Alan confirms. Crane operator ready. Alan confirms. Omicron standing. I'm hearing something. Standing by for pickup in two days. Ims confirms. Okay, so nothing else I can do with that. No, no pages to read. Okay, let's shut it off. Turn it back on. Oh, I can plug her in over here. Yeah, Catherine, you're you're gonna be a part of this. Huh. Is this Omicron? Everything is so basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Omnitool falling apart. Okay, we need to find you a power suit. You know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda. You think mm. we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me, too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be uh... done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbar at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Oh, yes. She turned the lights on. Well, what shut the door behind us? And why is he so much against the idea of being transferred into a different body? Is it because he likes this body? He's familiar with it? I mean, I guess I could get that. I understand. Remote control. <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess D is the one we need to look at. Reminder, check your air supply and systems. Okay, that must be on. That must be how we're going to get What are you waiting for? Find a power suit and let's get on with this. Oh, look, you can even see the lights. Like in between there. Oh, looks like there's maybe somebody in it already. Oh, God. There was. Nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby, see if you can boot it up. So gross! What's it doing? Rayla? Herber! She's the one that said she had to go do something. What did she have to go do? 
I can't, I can't mind meld with you to find out what happened either, because, uh, you lost your head. Okay. Don't waste time, Simon. Activate the power suit already. Hold on, girl. Okay. Uh, okay, it's supposed to be power suit tracking activation. I'm curious. Hmm. So this must be us. And if the triangle represents a suit, there's a suit here too. What are the three pluses? Hmm. Okay, that's for D. Let's, let's check what this says. Okay, information. A high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 degrees Celsius to negative 75 Celsius while keeping a steady 40 degrees Celsius default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal one ATM up to a depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. Those are all great things. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that lock the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Uh-oh. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as a default, the suit may accept anyone. So sensory systems, is it talking like it's going to need to be able to tell, like, I've got a pulse, a uh, retina scan, all that kind of stuff? Because clearly I won't have any of that in my current condition. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. Ah, I knew it! It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. Okay, pod D. Let's see what happens. Error found with suit. Not exactly grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few kinds of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The wow won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. You better keep talking to me and keep me company. That is all I'm saying. Oh, that's convenient. That door opened back up for us. Oh, okay. Is there anything else in this area? All right. I wonder if we'll get to find out how she ended up here. She, she left that station. Looks like scratches all over that. She left that station out there, ran all the way over here, got into there, and got killed somehow? Can I open these now that power's on? No. It was worth a check. Okay, let's see if we can make it down the big creepy hall again without being chased. I bet sooner or later I'm going to be chased through this thing. Oh, wow. Look at that. You can see right outside there. Don't forget, we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. Sounds good. I wonder if they'll all be in this little area here. That'd be amazing if it was. Electrical hazard. Check out the view. Okay, it's kind of cool. Okay. How far am I going to have to explore? I'm going to check this little area first, see if any of those items happen to be... What do I have in my inventory? Nothing. Is that anything? Nope. I'm assuming it'll be pretty obvious when I found one of the items. 
but thought it was worth checking this place first. Okay. Well, let's go through the new door this way. North Hall, F2. So, door storage. Hey, there we go. I like the sound of storage. Oh, the fact that I can close this from the other side makes me a little nervous. Oh, no. Everything locked? Can I get in anything? Uh, at this point, I'm wondering if I gotta find me some kind of a key. Will you open? Okay. Not opening. Hmm. I'm surprised that there is not anything in this storage room. Kerosene. <laughs> I was putting my ear against that wall right there because I was like, could have swore I heard the, it sounded like a, a creature, almost like something growling. Light off, light on. Okay. I don't know what's down there. Laboratory. Everything is like alive and breathing. Oh, we got a terminal over here we can look at. Ruffy, as unusual, wait a minute, Ruffy, Jacob Halpin, an unusually sedated orange Ruffy found hovering outside Omicron substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water kept swinging for a few moments so I returned it to an aquarium it instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it yikes I don't want to come into a roughy Shelly Darby in Wald Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Loomer probe at a, about 900 meters depth it is 150 centimeters long Rudderfish that looks like it has emerged with some other kind of fish or shark. Merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Orvary can't shut up about. Man, it sounds like there's something right out, like, right over here. I'm reading. I want to know about J Jahan. Jahan Ross, dead on arrival. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Jahan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Wow. Well, Oh, man, it sounded like there was something right next to me. Oh, here we go. We got freaky noises around us everywhere. Okay. Diving room, infirmary. This this is where I'm at right here. Omicron lockdown. Lower. Upper. We got power room. Oh! What was that? Oh! Quit doing this to me. What's going on? Is it this screen? Is there something in here? So when I look at this. To override. Error moving lockdown. Stand by for diagnosis. Finding fault location. Yeah, sure you are. 
F3 power room. Launching rerouting utility. Reset sequence. There's something next to me. Station overview. All right. Oh my goodness, this is... What do I do with this? Oh, I think I see what's going on here. There we go. Ooh, I saw something for a brief second. Oh. So did I just like unlock and open everything? I do like the fact the lights came on. What is, why am I getting like just moment wig outs? <laughs> My screen and stuff. Like there's, like there's a creature nearby or something. Okay. I got here. That's not something you really want to get comfortable with. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny, Julia. What's going on? Am I that transparent? What do you want Molly? What are friends, right? Yes. Do you think Alpha is real? Uh, what makes you... What, why would you ask that? I think Ross is trying to tell me something. About Psy Alpha. He wants me to go down to the abyss and find it. Crazy, right? You've been down there. I just thought you could talk some sense into me. Ronnie. I'm not at liberty to... I can't talk about that. What? Uh oh. So what's the alpha? I think that's like the first we've been hearing of alpha, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, we still don't know what caused this thing to get quarantined, do we? Atlantic sea nettle. Oh. Make me think of Subnautica. This game is clearly not Subnautica. Yo, check that out, though. That's wild. Atlantic Cod can... I want to go in here. I hope this is safe. Avoid injury. Mind your step. Wow, everything's got those little barnacle looking like things like growing on them. Wow. It's like WoW was taking over. <laughs> I said WoW and then WoW's taking over. Uh, it's like WoW's taking over everything, not just the human race anymore. It's trying to, like, make everything live. Fish, plants. These little rats. Okay. All right, rat. Got to test it. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Try that again. If I get this to stand up, uh, uh. <laughs> poor rat. As if being dead wasn't enough, right? Okay. Well, we can finally get into some stuff here. Drawers that aren't locked. Okay, Ross and the Wow confirmed a correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds. What? Shield it off and witnessed a massive drop in the readings. If we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, Omicron I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. 
confirmed a correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. Okay. See, this was... It's on the 3rd, this is on the 15th. Okay. Wow, it's definitely repairing Ross's corpse. Oh my gosh, that's what I was trying... That's what I was wondering they were hinting at. It's the most insane thing I've ever encountered. Somehow the WoW, primarily relegated to the structure gel inside the walls, is bombarding the corpse with every system it can access. The glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and radiation, which seems to be instructing gel already stuck inside Ross's body. Not sure what the WoW expects to happen when it re it's restored. But at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. So the structure gel was something that WoW could use to, like, reanimate a body? Well, let's take a look, see if anything's changed. I mean, I, I, I might look a little more rusty. I don't remember if that's how I looked or not, but... I really look pretty much the same as before. Can I open you? Thought I heard something. Yeah, I hear you. I'm gonna leave you be for now. I might, I might need you in case I start getting attacked by something. Uh, okay. I'm assuming that, like I said, when I come across something that I actually need, it'll stand out, maybe blink or something. Oh, but we are definitely at that one hour mark, and this facility is huge. It's got like three floors, and it looks like we're going to be scavenging for a while trying to find those resources. Then we get the power suit, probably step out that door that's like right behind where the suit is, and make a big leap into the abyss. Oh, this game. I enjoyed this episode. I needed an episode like this where it was a little more chill. It had some moments. A lot more chill, though, than the last one. I needed this. Absolutely enjoying the game. It definitely fits the Halloween vibe. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the game, and your comments and encouragement mean a lot. Thank you. Keep them coming. I really appreciate it. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one.